I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss Sugar, and I'm back with another Mookie Bone. And it's messy wig. And another Mookie Bone. What? And it's messy wig. Ow, ow. Get it. Get it. Ow, ow. But the cut is short. Bam. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back. Old and new. How are you, y'all? How y'all doing? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> All right, let me get straight to the point, okay? Because I got some stuff to talk about. This here movie, Jesus. This is a fall from grace movie by the Tyler Perry's on the Netflix. We got to talk about it. Okay, so what I got here, I got uh, these, uh, what this is, ramen noodles, oodles and noodles with, what the hell is this? Pot liquors. And what is this, Jesus? What is this? Sam and Yang sauce. The, the, the juice from the devil's nutsack is what I got. <laughs> and I got water because I'm not going to got. All right, let me say grace. Lord Jesus Web, amen. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Thumbnail. nail. Lord, I'm back. I forgot I was supposed to be recording. Y'all need to press the damn button. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay, that dummy nail was trash. Whatever. I just want to get to the point of this whole video because I have some questions. About this Fall From Grace movie on the Netflix. Because I know I don't even want to sing it. Let me eat this. I still know how to use choppy sticks, y'all. Hold on. Mm. Just in case you're wondering. I put a little water in here when I put some of this salmon yang sauce on here. So I know it's going to be hot. Oh, this ain't a good idea at all. How you going to talk with your mouth hat? <laughs> this wasn't smart. <laughs> Hold on, Jesus. I'm going to take a few more bites and we're going to get into this here review. This is a spoiler alert for those of y'all who don't read. When you see review, that means you're going to talk about something in, in detail as much as possible. Tastes is pale. Mm-hmm. How was y'all's day today? Mine was long, so forgive me if I'm not as energetic as I usually is. That's tad. <laughs> mm. Put a one in the comment section if you've seen that movie, A Fall From Grace on the Flicks, that is net. Left sugar, no. I should put more of some of this juice from the devil's nutsack on my, on my noodles. Just that salmon yang sauce. Yeah. Yeah. I still got this left over from last year. <laughs> Use it sparingly. <laughs> Good, though. <laughs> Get my lips red. I'm going to talk to y'all with red lips. Oh, Jesus. This was not smart. Mmm. <laughs> it's like a little sweetness that came in there, that, that, that there, right there. Mmm. Woo. Mmm. Let me get a little fried pie liquor. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> In case you wonder where I got these pot liquors from, I got these from the H Mart. I got these from the H Mart. Yeah. All right, so I 
I can't hold off any longer. Let me let me talk about this. A fall from grace movie on the flicks that is net on the Netflix. Overall, to me, in my opinion, that movie was terrible. <laughs> Tyler Perry, let me tell you something. I love and respect you. As I guess I'll say, entrepreneur that you is, the leader that you are, the black man that you is, and you know how you uh you'll come up from you know how you at your lowest of lows and how you made you basically turn uh what you call limons into limonades okay i respect you sir but um uh, some of your movies be questionable and i'm gonna tell y'all what drew me in jesus let me tell y'all what drew me in because i wasn't gonna watch it the only reason i was i watched the movie is because everybody was on the social media posting that same video of the white man in the diner, fake eating. <laughs> eating air <F. laughs> Like this. <laughs> like, but baby, what you eating? What did we, we eating air? Really? Did you not want to eat the food? I was kind of getting upset. Because, like, you got a plate of food in front of you. You don't want to eat it? Like, were you told not to eat it? Like, that made me bad. Like, you're not going to sit there and a plate of food in front of you. You're not going to eat it. I ain't like that. So that's what drew me in Jesus. <laughs> so I said, let me watch this movie. So I'm into it. I'm like, okay. Okay, black people. Okay. Got my girl Breesha Webb from Merlin. Hey, girl. She was in the movie. I ain't seen her since whatever TV show she was on. When she was laying a real ratchet chick. Ratchet girl. I don't remember what show that was. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Come on, Sam and Yang. All right, so she is hot, and she played the character of Jasmine Bryant. I believe that's right. She probably is a public defender who always takes plea deals because she sucks as a lawyer. She's trash. <laughs> so <laughs> she finally comes across a case that uh, there's a murder trial, murder case by a lady named Grace Waters, Winters, whatever her name is. Grace is her name. Grace and killed her husband. And she wants to plead guilty, so they want uh, uh, Jasmine's boss, Rory, played by Tyler Perry. Let me, let me, hold on, let me, let me finish this. Wants her to uh, get a plea deal for and plead guilty, all that stuff, and give her life, all the help, man. So whatever, so she can go be, be whatever. Y'all know, just do whatever. But let me before I go any further with that, can we talk about Tyler Perry's makeup? Why did he look like he was in the casket? I'm sorry. What was that? Who did the makeup? What, was that done on purpose? What was going on with his hair? What is this? I didn't understand. So, that, I couldn't get past that part. I'm like, he looked mad dark. Did he go to Mexico? Did he go on vacation? I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> All right, so... Jasmine, she uh she takes the case or whatever. Talks to Grace. Grace reads her. All that good stuff. Jasmine's character, she's like real timid, kind of sorta. Of. She kind of weak a little bit. You know, like I said, she's trash as a lawyer. She sucks. She's she's trash. And she's not sure of herself because she doesn't. She's not sure if you want to be a lawyer because she doesn't feel like she's good enough. So she's kind of insecure a little bit, just a little bit. And then she goes on to talk about the case to her boyfriend, Jordan. We'll talk about that, too. The acting was terrible between them two. It was more so the boyfriend than, than, than her. And so uh, his issue was that he seen a lady, he watched a lady jump off the roof of a house. I don't know, I don't know maybe just me, but am I the only one that thought that roof was big enough for him to go in there and grab her. Because it ain't like she was turned around and she could see him coming through. I felt like he had enough leeway to go save her old ass. That's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Because I could have sworn that was a... I don't know. It looked like he had enough room to go through the window and come and grab... Excuse me, Jesus. Grab button. Take over that. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. All right. So, whatever. They in love. Forgive me if this review is a mess. I'm a mess. So just, just, just y'all say the movie. The movie was a mess. So whatever. So, <laughs> so he, they talk about, he tells her um, about that. 
and she tells him about her plea deal situation, how she sucks as a lawyer. She don't want to be a lawyer, all this other stuff. Mm. Fast forward. Now, our. Uh, she looks at the case and she finds there's something weird about the case because she's like trying to figure out why uh, some of the pictures look a little off. As far as like the blood spatter and, and the positioning of where the body was and all that good stuff. So she's like, no, she don't think she's guilty all of a sudden. She thinks Grace is innocent. Because Grace admitted to killing her husband. All right, so fast forward all that good stuff. Now Jasmine wants to um, ask Grace questions about the history between her and her husband. And so they go to a little flashback. So Grace meets this man and McCard Brooks plays the character of Shannon. That's the man she meets. Let me get on this hill. Tyler Perry, you written, directed, and produced this movie. Who in your who told McCard Brooks to put on this Jermaine Jackson phase situation that he had going on? What was that? What the hair? I didn't like it at all. Like, why was his hair so shiny? What was that? Like, he looked like Jermaine Jackson. Whose bright idea was to told McCard Brooks that that was the look you need to have for this hair role? Why would McCard Brooks agree to this? Like, he looked ridiculous. I kept looking at this airline and this, the shape of this hair to the point where I was distracted, completely distracted, from the extra storyline, because I kept focusing on how shiny and off this hair, Jesus. I didn't understand what that was. Jermaine Jackson, hey, I, I blame you. I don't know who told, because I don't know why Jermaine Jackson thought that was cute to have on his hair. <laughs> I think he got it slicked down. Oh, okay, anyway, focus. Anyway, because I'm getting distracted by the hair. I didn't like it. So now this big beefy man in the art museum and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Grace met him at the art gallery. Come to find out the best friend of Grace named Sarah Miller, played by Felicia Rashad. I guess she kind of set that up on the low, whatever. And because she wanted uh, Grace to go out and find her somebody special because she was recently divorced because her ex-husband cheated on her with some young secretary woman. You know the story. That's how it always goes. So she convinced her to go be free <laughs> and find herself a man to be stank or whatever. So she meets McCard Brooks, Jermaine Jackson Fade. <coughs> they go out and and to a diner. Well, Ringy Ding Diner, where the white man was eating fake food. <laughs> eating air. I was confused. Like, who edited this? I didn't understand that part. And I just, I still was distracted by the Jermaine Jackson fade. The acting was terrible. I was confused. So now Grace is all head over heels over Jermaine Jackson's fade. And they fall in love after like three months and get married. Any. I ain't gonna say that yet. No. So now they happily married, so so called somewhat. <laughs> they get <laughs> they happily married, and then some shit and it goes down. So now all of a sudden, uh, McCarty he leaves the room. Well, Shannon leaves the room. Go talk on the phone. Grace goes in the room. She trying to figure out who he talked to on the phone. And then he all pretty much has a change. He switches up on it. So I don't like the white chick and know me. This and that. In my mind, I'm like, dude, with a hair like that, I can ask you whatever I want. Cause you, you that hair is questionable. <laughs> who told you to wear that? <laughs> mm mm. So. Blah, 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 whatever. All of a sudden, uh, Grace gets fired from her job at the bank because some money come up missing. Says she stole some money. Come to find out it was her husband, Shannon, that took the money. And all this other mess. And um, 
she questions she questions him in front of uh, her best friend, sir, Mela, played by Felicia Richard. And it was just a whole debacle. So then, a few, uh, some time ahead in the movie, he, um, she comes home and she goes upstairs and she sees him, um, getting it on with some little young tender. <laughs> now this thing got me. <laughs> this thing got me. Was I the only one to notice how ashy his ass was? Why was his ass so ashy? Am I the only one that was confused? Why is your head glossy but your ass is ashy? I didn't, I didn't. What was this? And it's like his body is nice, but I couldn't get past the hair. <laughs> you should have used some of that hair jewels and put it on his ashy ass. I couldn't get past the hair. Who told him that look good? And he turned around trying to cover up his areas and stuff. conversation was I the only one that thought his ass was ass shit sorry for cussing so much but I just need to know I was confused and I, oh this hair situation I didn't understand it uh this video is gonna be a mess I don't even care ain't like I'm directing anything but <laughs> mm. let me grab a liquor Mm. Okay, so at the uh, the edginess of the booty meat, <laughs> Grace got tired of his shits and then she beats um her husband Shane up outside outside head a few times with the back. The blood spattered everywhere. Now, I, was, I thought he was dead. Grace thought he was dead. Everybody's mom thought he was dead. So she uh, drives away after she puts his body in the basement and she calls her best friend, Sarah Miller, and tells her that she done killed the boy and all that good stuff. Then go back off the flashbacks and you go back to Jasmine and Grace in the jail cell. <laughs> Jasmine's just like, oh, okay. Something's fishy about the story because she said she didn't think that Grace killed him because something about the pictures didn't add up right. Blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. They go to trial. Grace uh, agrees to, uh, I guess, not do the whole plea deal situation because I guess she's convinced that you maybe she didn't kill him because now they're trying to say that she done dumped this body off of the swamp because his body wasn't there when the police came and got into all that good stuff. Y'all, that story's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go to trial, Jesus. Jason makes a pure ass of herself. She sucks as a lawyer. She makes pure ass of herself. She didn't know what she was doing. She embarrassed herself in front of everybody. She's about to lose her job and all this other stuff. And then she had the nerve to say she wanted Sarah Miller to come back to the stand after she done rested. You can't call nobody back to the stand they done rested. Jesus Christ. I want to call Sarah Miller to the stand. I was like, what is this, Jesus? I understand. This movie is so stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and then, uh, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. The, uh, the Jasmine girl wanted, uh, Jordan, her man, to look up information on Sarah Miller, all this good stuff. And then come to find out she's like this con artist who takes uh elderly women and kidnaps them and uh uses them for their wealth and monies and social securities and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so when he finds this out, he's arresting somebody. When he found this out, he was arresting a suspect. Put him in handcuffs. Lean them over on the roof, the, the hood of the car. Tell him, stay right there. Don't move. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> then when he finds out the information about Sarah Miller, he gets, <laughs> he starts the car 
drafts off and left the suspect with handcuffs on. Stay right there. Don't move. He could easily move. You didn't put him in a car. Like, I didn't understand why you put him in a car. Oh, Lord. It was just a whole mess. It, this whole, I'm telling you, I have so many questions. I didn't even going I feel like I'm going into the whole plot of the movie. I just have so many questions. Like, when Jasmine went to go to uh, Sarah Miller's house, I guess, to confer her, and she sees good old Cicely Tyson, y'all. He's hungry. Why she always got to sound like a slave in every movie? I'm not understanding. Why does Cicely Tyson always have to view the slave role? Cicely Tyson, I love you dearly. God bless you. This the slave role. He's hungry. Like, <laughs> the lip <little girl. laughs> That, uh... Oh, and it was funny because she confronted her about where she was going. And Cicely Tyson was talking about she wanted to go to her house. Come to find out the house that she was going to was 20-something-something something Sycamore Street, which is the address that Shannon used to have all the bills and stuff sent over there and all that good stuff. I don't know, girl. I did, <laughs> it's a mess. I don't even care. This movie was stupid. And did, she, did she even escape? Like, where did she go? I didn't, this movie was a mess, y'all. I didn't understand it. And then Sarah Miller come to find out she was the one who set the whole thing up with her best friend, Grace, to meet up with McCall Brooks, a.k.a. Shannon, come to find out that's her son, and they've been calling the people for 20 years. Kidnapping old ladies, old rich folk, and using them for their social securities. Had them in the dungeon, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they done got poor Jasmine hood held up. They done kidnapped her, had her in the little cell room. Come to find out Shannon is still alive. How he still alive if he got beat in the head like multiple times? How did he survive that? When did he go to the hospital? <laughs> Who stitched him up? I want to know how they did that. I have a question about that. Who stitched him up? How did, did they get surgery done? Did he go to the hospital? How did they do this? Y'all just left all that out. How was he alive after that? How? Who helped her old ass take his body out? Because Sarah Miller is old. <laughs> Who helped her? The whole thing didn't make any sense. I have so many questions about the Stephen movie. It was dumb. It was so dumb. <laughs> the boyfriend tried to save her. I thought that fight scene between Jordan... And Sarah Miller was hilarious. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me say it again. When Sarah hit him upside the head with that cast iron frying pan and he ain't budge, and he just looked at her like, okay, and just grabbed her like, ah, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> and then she kept hitting him with stuff and he just wasn't phased by it. Then he handcuffed her and said, stay there, don't move. What? <laughs> Here you go with the stay there, don't move stuff. Sir, what do you what kind of police officer are you? Tell on, stay there and move, and then you go and leave. And then she gets out. Where did she go? Because she escaped. How did she escape? Who took out the handcuffs? This, this story didn't make any sense. <laughs> she go, he going downstairs to find his woman. He about to get killed by Shannon. Bree somehow escapes. Out the chair, and the chair runs, like, hits the door and breaks, and she breaks free. How was it that she was able to break free that easily? I didn't understand that. That didn't make sense. And she wound up shooting Shannon three times or four times, and she killed him. I'm sorry. This just this, this, didn't make sense. And I'm, I don't even remember where Cicely Tyson went. Did she escape? I don't remember, because the movie was just, it was so many loopholes. So many questions. <laughs> so much confusion. This movie was terrible. <laughs> it was funny. I think I found that movie way more comical than anything. Because that movie didn't make any sense. It 
And while we're standing in the bed, smoking a cigarette with no ashtray. <laughs> I had the nerve to ask Grace for an ashtray. Ashtray, bitch. <laughs> Just move. <laughs> I'm sorry. Any woman who feels the need to fall in love with some man with a Jermaine Jackson uh, group fade deserves to be taken advantage of because you dumb because you did not make a smart decision because if i seen some man with a hair like that with a hair yes with a hair like that i i would have ran because something about him is questionable if he feels like he can walk around in public with his hair looking like that and think that's cute somebody something like that is something wrong with him something is suspicious about that that hairline and all said something right with you and you gave him a chance that three months you married him girl you stupid you deserve to get taken advantage of. You deserve to get fired from your job with your simple ass. Look at him sitting there. Because <laughs> he showed you five flies. All of a sudden, you in love. Girl, take you and your little slow stroke cell phone somewhere. <laughs> Had the girl in the bed said, Mom, so was that your mom? Well, my mom ain't that ugly. And she still did it while the lady was in the house. That little girl was trifling too. I'm sorry, this is all over the place because I'm telling you, the movie was just a mess. This review was a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> Tyler Perry. You tried. You tried. I feel like the movie had potential to be good, but the, between the acting, the bad acting, the horrible editing, the crazy storyline, it was just, it didn't make any sense. The makeup, the hair, I didn't like the hair. Jermaine Jackson, what was that on his head? McCarr Brooks, you must have been desperate for a role if you felt like that was okay to wear on your head. And come to find out, that movie was done in five days. Oh, it shows. <laughs> oh, it shows. It sh pretty much shows. Okay, so if you've seen this movie, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Jesus, because... I ain't like it. <laughs> I was like, what is this? And the only reason I was draw, I, what, um, the only reason why I decided to watch it because that white man eating that fake ale drew me in. That's the only reason why I watched it. That's not a good reason to watch a movie, but I, I just, I felt like I needed to be enlightened. And boy, was I entertained. <laughs> that movie was all over the place. I didn't like it. It was more comedic than anything. I know this review was all over the place, but you know, if you liked it, you like it. If you didn't, you didn't. Either way, I don't care. You gave me watch time, so God bless you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I wet my mouth. Comment, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell that's on the side. Ring that bell that's on the side. Hey, all my people, stay black and be great. Cause I messed that up too. <laughs> you all have a wonderful and blessed day. If you got this far in the video, put a blue heart in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this movie. I need to know how y'all feel. Okay. On that note, <claps> big. The rest of this salmon yang sauce with the noodles, Jesus.